Today we're out here uh, about 40 miles to the west of Fort Collins up in the Rocky Mountains and we just uh, just came up an old road here there are some four-wheelers around uh, a lot of people in trucks and uh, whatnot and uh, we're gonna try and find a mine up here and I think I've already found it just right off the road here maybe you can see it through the trees it's a pretty nice day but uh, it looks like there might be some rain coming in looking at these clouds but what I'm planning on doing here is uh, we're just going to go up there and try and find that mine, see if there's anything interesting. And from what I could see from uh, satellite images, it looks like there might also be a cabin up there. Uh, or some sort of building related to the mining activity that was going on out here. Now, these are gold mines in these uh, areas. There's actually quite a few of them, and we've been in this area before, but this is... Uh, just about the furthest up the road I've ever been, and uh, it actually looks pretty substantial. So I'm going to get uh, all packed up and ready to go, and then we're going to take a short hike up there and see if there's anything interesting. Here we are uh, walking up towards the mine. See a pretty big tailings pile up here. That's promising. I think that's what I was thinking was a cabin right there. Still pretty intact. You can see there used to be an old road up here. It's been washed out and then Forest Service must have put that fence up to keep people from driving up here. Might be hard to tell in the video, but this thing's almost twice my height. See some uh, sheet metal that they used on the roof or something. A lot of people have added graffiti to it. It's actually a couple levels. This might have been the old mill. Just looking at how it's leveled like that. They might have had an old stamp mill here. So this might actually not be a mine at all. It might just be tailings brought from other mines to be processed. I'm going to have to take a closer look. Now that sure looks like an ore bin to me. It might have fed down there. Because you got all this lagging on the side. These big wide boards. This building doesn't look like it was ever necessarily an airtight deal. It's filled up with uh, tailing material, pretty much. I assume ore that is meant to be processed. It might have been quite a bit taller looking at that post on the side, but see some more sheet metal in the tailings. Now this might have been the actual cabin right here. Looks like it had a door there, a door here. Maybe it wasn't a cabin, I, I don't know. Looks like the old road continued up there as well. It's almost like the inside was lined with sheet metal. Maybe that just came in from the roof. See those two pieces that are on end right there. That looks like it was intentional. So I don't know if this was a cabin or maybe storage. I 
I'm gonna go over there and see if there are any uh, adits. Here are four wheelers in the back. Down there on the road. That's looking over this possible mill site. A lot of tailings. I think I see uh, back in there where we want to be going. Oh wow, yeah. A lot of erosion. This sure looks like it was a tunnel. Pretty deep one, or large in size either way. It was based on the amount of tailings we have out here. I don't think it could have been just a uh, straight cut into the mountain. I think they would have probably made a pretty big cut and then drove a tunnel and it might have been pretty tall and that would account for collapse and erosion in here. I mean this is huge. It's almost like a small quarry. I don't want to get too far up here because there's big boulders over me. So. But, uh, yeah, it sure looks like there was a big tunnel or shaft or something here. Probably combined with just a cut straight into the mountain up to the surface. Kind of like an exposed stope. Uh, but I'm not going to claim that's what was here, not for sure. I don't have any records of this site, but, uh, see down there the discoloration in that, uh, tan rock. That's a pretty good sign that you have a good gold ore in the area. So, pretty interesting site. Looks like it might have been part of a road too. I mean, just amazing how many tailings are here. Never seen anything quite like it, so. And I think, unless my eyes are deceiving me, that right up here, straight across, looks like there might be an adit. So I'm gonna hike up there and take a quick peek as well. One last look around here. I wonder if there might also be some mines up this little valley this way where the old road used to go. I might consider checking that out too, but we're gonna head up here first. I'm just dropping down into this little valley and I noticed I could hear water running. So it would have had a source for water if that truly is a uh, a mill up there. I know there's this big piece of metal. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's riveted together. Almost like a big chimney or part of a boiler or something. Got some interesting rivet work and stamping on it. Got some rocks inside. Someone's obviously been shooting it. Wonder if anyone has a clue what that would have been. Almost looks like it was originally square. We're gonna head right up there, so I'll see you there. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Now that we're up here on the side of this hill, see the old mill site down there and then we got this and it could have been 
tunnel or a, or a vertical shaft, but I would probably bet that it was a tunnel based on the uh, bedrock sticking out there and the way that it's graded flat on these tailings. Pretty cool tailings too. A lot of this very purple, purple rock mixed with quartz. It actually might be quartz itself, just the purple quartz. Well, most of this tailings pile is made of that stuff, so it's not the typical yellow that you would imagine. Portal would have been right down in there. Erosion actually doesn't look too bad. It might be able to be opened up again pretty easily, but there really aren't that many tailings here, so I'd bet it didn't go very far.